Welcome back everybody and tonight we're going to be going over some important stuff that you need to know. We're going over macroeconomics, core economics about, what? Man, damn, economics, man we ain't got time for that, we're doing Space Godzilla! Boom! Deal. Bam! Space Godzilla. 30 centimeter. Wait, what? No, he's too big. He's like 35 centimeters. Measured in like 14 inches tall. Big son bitch. Okay? So, here's the box. Big box, big figure. Oh, man, this box is just you. Check out the inside. Oh. Oh, it does. It still smells fresh. Almost a month. Pretty much a month afterwards, but, uh, so yeah, I picked up the standard version, did not get the Rick Boy because did not really dig the light features on on that, and I don't really feel like I missed out on any light features, just my opinion. So, this is the box for standard, the box for the Rick Boy is pretty much the same thing, it probably just comes with a little spot up in there in the plastic for the light little pack, battery pack, whatever, ding dong, merry on high. Okay, so that's the box. Beautiful box, beautiful cover art, bam, just big box. Big figure, okay? Typical box, yada yada yada. And there we go. Ooh, a little vibration there. It's a big box. See what happens when you kiss the floor? Okay, figure, boom! Ha! Look at this bad boy. See, I was thinking about bringing the camera in closer, but he's so big, I'm just gonna keep the camera where he was, okay? Alright, so, first thing you notice about Space Godzilla, he's huge. Like we said, he's measuring about 35 centimeters. He's taller than almost all of the other 30 centimeters. He's right up there with Hedra and Titanosaurus. Massively tall. This figure is just so big. One thing we all talked about when this was first announced a couple months ago is the thighs right here. Thunder thighs, Zilla. You know, I mean... It doesn't, I mean, yeah, they look big. Was it like that in the film? Looked a little bit smaller, like his thighs are almost going right up to his armpit. Okay? But, I, I'm, it doesn't really bother me too much, you know, because Space Godzilla was a chunky drawers. So, not, not, not too much of a big deal. You know, they're big. Whatever. Not a big deal. Not to me. You know, if, I mean, if they were going for suit accurate, maybe they could have brought the legs, the thigh area, just, down a little bit more and shrunken the thigh, upper thigh a little bit, maybe it would have brought things together a little bit better. Not a big deal. Uh, dorsal plates. Let me go right to the dorsal plates real quick, because they're right there, just bam, right in your face. Squishy vinyl. Real squishy. Okay? And they're also translucent, which would have been awesome if they had a light-up feature in the back. We'll talk about light-up features in a second, but if they had a light-up feature in the back, these could have glowed pretty cool, crystal white. So, and it seems like this whole back piece, it's one, it was glued on separately. So one separate mold for that. Probably so maybe they could get all the wiring and everything in or something. I don't know. For the Rick Boy. We'll talk about the Rick Boy. I don't have the Rick Boy, like I said. The Rick Boy comes with light up crystals and a light up crest horn, okay? I didn't get that because I did not feel that I needed a light up feature for this. Because this figure is just beautiful as it is. And I'm not too keen on every light-up feature that each figure comes out with. So, whatever. I did see it in person, though. Um, and it, to me, it was not as bright as it should have been. Maybe maybe it was just right. I don't know. I'd have to look at it again to give it a second opinion. But I'm happy I got the standard. And the Crest Horn, it's too bright. Um, you can check out John's review at kaijuaddicts.com. And I think he agreed with me, you know, or I agree with him. Whatever. John, okay, just relax. I agree with you. This is too bright. Crest horn was too bright. Okay? Uh, okay. This area here in the abdomen, we're going to talk about detail. This is emphasized, over exaggerated, compared to the actual suit in the movie. Um, this doesn't appear this deep. 
get a couple different angles there. This does not appear as deep on the actual suit in the movie. So, um, it looks pretty cool on the figure. It's very emphasized, very exaggerated, because this actually, on the suit, looks like it meets more up here. You know, right as the chest. Instead, you got his stomach area a little bit more set deeper into the figure. But it's not really like that on the suit. Maybe it's just we never really got to see it that detailed on the suit, that close up. You know, because in the movie, Space Godzilla was just pretty much standing around the whole time, okay? As far as we go with the rest of detail, look at this face. It's just amazing. How could you go wrong? It's just, just ferocious looking. The eyes, the teeth, the the horns on the side, of the, you know, the jaw horns. Just amazingly done. Figure captures Space Godzilla very, very well. Um, you know, we got the thunder thighs and all, but whatever. Let me look at you. Yeah. The paint job. Paint job is done in a dark, realistic looking blue, dark, dark blue, uh, blended in with nice reds on the stomach to emphasize those features, up and down the chest. I, uh, I love the detail on this. I, you know, like I said, about this stomach area, it doesn't really bother me too much, but it's really done well. All the detail is done so well, right up to the head, the ears, all the dorsal uh, spines along the neck and the horn, the crest horn. Um, tail's done nice, curves back here like that, okay, uh, tail, that's why I'm talking about tail, this tail, bulky some tail, bulky, bulky tail, blah, 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 make sure you heat up this section, get it nice and squishy, soft, squishy, squishy, squish, 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 you get that tail on there, I got mine on in like, I don't know, a couple seconds. It didn't take long. It just depends on how hard, how, how hard, how soft you heat up the tail area. Where the tail's supposed to go in. The ass, okay? The torso rear section. Alright? Uh, okay. Articulation? None. No articulation. Arms don't move. The legs don't move. The feet don't move. The tails don't move. It's not supposed to move, okay? Uh, this looks like it was a separate piece molded for the head. That don't move. I mean, yeah, he's a little squishy up there. Also, you know, the vinyl, pretty squishy there. I mean, you can grab those, squeeze them. But just be careful. You don't want to get those damaged or nothing. Um, one other thing I like about the shoulder crystals is that the detail with the paint and how got, uh, Space Guy's little skin just meshes up well with the shoulder crystals. Really, really done well. Okay, um, seams, as we said, as I stated before, it looks like the dorsal area was put on separately, it's, you know, obviously it's a separate piece, so there is a big seam running around the whole back of Space Godzilla, right down to the tail, and for those of you that have this figure, if you took, you know, when you put the tail on, you would be able to see the lip right here, where the dorsal plate piece meets the rest of the scope. Distraction? No, not to me. Not a big distraction. Okay. Um, now, as we talked about this being huge, they should call this Hogzilla because he hogs so much space up on your damn shelf. It's hard to make me put him on top shelf, you know, because just trying to find spot for him. I mean, the tail swoops out and around, so he's big this way. He's big that way. Height, well, you know, if you got the right height for your shelves, you should be good to go. But, he's a hawk. Bigger is better, though. You know, for those who get the Gigantic series, you know, you know this is, this might as well have been the first figure of the Gigantic series. Jeez. Louise. Okay, so, um, make sure you heat up the tail section. I know I'm talking about the tail again. Maybe I'm going to do a video about putting tails on, because some people have had trouble getting this tail on. Some people have had trouble getting Kira's tail on. Um... It just depends on how well you heat it up. What else about this bad boy? His feet? His toes are kind of curled up. I don't know how well you can see. His toes are kind of curled up. But that's probably just how it was made to be. I have to, you know, i got to watch the movie. I haven't watched the movie in a long time. But, um, you know, it's from Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. If you didn't know. But, um, man, I just, I just love this figure. It's not that heavy. Very bulky though. 
bulky. Okay? One other area, and you can check it out in John's review. He's got some cool pictures of it because he's got the light-up feature. Um, this section, there's some light paint. It wasn't applied very thick. So, and I even noticed it too because before I put my tail on, I shine a light up in there just to see what it would look like if these lit up. But you could see some light bleeding through around the shoulder crystal area. You know, and for those that have the Rick Boy figure, it could be somewhat distracting, you know, because, you know, all like, oh, what's that? You know, there's light emitting. It almost looks like the Kaiju from Pacific Rim, which, you know, worked for them. But, you know, Space Guys will never had light emitting through the skin area. But, you know, hey, that's just some quality control stuff. You know, nothing too drastic. You know, I'm not going to take any merit away from the figure because it's just beautifully done. It's big. Paint is nice. Detail is superb. Um... You know, it's, it's oh, great. I'm so happy I got this figure. Um, comparison, let me bring somebody up. Let's see, who should I bring up? Bring up a 25. Bring up 25. Yeah, you know what? Because you're right there. This is a 25 Godzilla 73. Okay? Check that out. It just towers over him. Uh, check out John's review on kaijuax.com. He's got some pictures of Space Godzilla next to the 30 centimeter, not so 30 centimeter. Godzilla 2004 from Final Wars, and he's just towering over that. Um, so, like I said, this guy is big. It's a big, big, big figure. Love it. Alright, so, I think I covered everything. Try to keep it short and sweet. Hit me up in the comments. Check me out on Facebook at Fresh Vinyl Reviews on Facebook. I got my own page there now. Uh, check out KaijuAddicts.com, of course. Check out Godzilla Collectors Group. And, of course, you must check out the X Plus Kaiju Collectors Club on Facebook. Check us all out on Facebook. Link, link yourself, subscribe, hit us up, ask questions. There's more, more of us willing to help answer questions if anybody's got any concerns or gripes or how to get these bad boys. So stay tuned for the next reviews. Godzilla 2000, Gamma 99 coming up. And that's all I got for tonight. On the, my last note, I just want to say one last thing is everybody must remember... To do this. Buy model! Fresh model! I don't know what that was. Just, just forget it.